As workers in the World Trade Center, this is a sound none of us wants to hear. But if we don't listen to it, if we don't heed the alarm, our lives and the lives of the people we work with could be in danger. So in this system test on my fire alarm demonstration board, you're going to get to hear the sound of the fire alarms that went off in World Trade Building Number 7 on the morning of September 11th, 2001. The fire alarms went off in the morning, they evacuated the entire building, and as a result of those alarms going off, there were no serious injuries when that building collapsed later that evening. This right here is my Wheelock SPMNS voice evacuation fire alarm control panel, and it is wired in to the Firelight MS9200 UDLS addressable fire alarm control panel. For alarms, there is a system sensor P1224 MCW Spectral Alert Classic in white. It's right now set on 15 candela, and then the horn is set on the 3000 Hz temporal low volume. So this will actually make a little different sound than the typical sound that you hear out of the Spectral Alert Classic. Going over, I have an Eaton LST LED Amber Alert Strobe. This is just a strobe only, and you'll get to see it later on in the test. And then for the last alarm, I have something that I didn't think I was originally going to have. I originally thought I was going to have this right here. It is a System Sensor SPSCW. However, I wired it up, and I could not get the speaker to work. Perhaps it's because the mounting bracket I'm using is from a different alarm, but I couldn't get it to work. So, I don't know, I'll keep playing with it. But I do have a different system sensor alarm. It's a speaker strobe that has not been seen yet on this channel. It is a system sensor V4R 2415ADA. It is the speaker strobe version of the system sensor mass. This alarm has obviously been through a lot. I've managed to clean it up a little bit but it's definitely seen better days. The strobe on it does make a very loud buzz. So you'll get to hear that in addition to the sound out of the speaker. But uh, yeah, the strobe buzz is definitely not a good thing and I do hear it and I know you will get to hear it today as well. The detectors and all the addressable pole stations are the same on this system test. However, for the conventional pole station, I do have a Siemens HMS-S. This is an addressable pole station, but it's being used as conventional today. And then I do have a new alert pole station. It is a Signal Communications Corp SG-42CXK2. And as you can see, this one says alert, alert, pole, emergency, and it's yellow. So that is tied in to the amber LED strobe, and it will make a pretty unique tone when you hear it today. The sound that the speaker strobe will be putting out is the Firecom 8500 whoop slash chime. And this sound was heard all throughout the morning of September 11th. There was somebody with a camera that went around and filmed a lot of the smoky rooms of World Trade Building Number 7. Let's go ahead and pull the alarm and hear the sound. Here we go. Listen to the buzz from this strobe. Pretty crazy. All right, I'll go ahead and silence this alarm a little sooner next time around so that you can hear more of the tone out of this speaker strobe. Let's go ahead and pull one of the addressable pull stations. Eh, I'm thinking we'll pull the single action one. Here we go.
Stay on the left. On the last one. There's nobody up on 23? No. They evacuated everybody down. All right, they're probably going to the bus. Thanks. Yeah. Here we go. Got the special FCI key here to reset the FCI pull station. And then we'll reset the Siemens pull station. This one takes a hex key. Not as easy to reset. There we go. And let's go ahead and do a reset of the main fire alarm control panel from the enunciator here. There it is, a reset in system. It'll take a second to reinitialize. Are you ready to hear one of the craziest tones you've ever heard out of a voice evacuation fire alarm system? Let's go ahead and activate this yellow pull station and hear what it is in three, two, one. It had to be done. <laughs> it had to be done for at least one system test. <laughs> Hopefully YouTube doesn't flag that for a copyright violation. Anyways, thank you for watching this system test. If you found any of this interesting, go check out some of my other videos. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and please have a great day.